Right, let's take a call. And caller number one is Leo. Hello, Leo. Hello, Simon. Hello, Leo. It's Le a pleasure to speak to you. Well, How are it, you? Well, uh, it's a pleasure to speak to you, and I'm very fine. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Which Leo are you? I'm Leo Barnett. And where are you, Leo? I'm at home in Donhead St Andrew. Have you had a good day so far? I've been helping my mummy shop for, for the last-minute Christmas thing. Oh, my goodness me. So how much stuff did she leave? To, well, it's not really the last minute, but I suppose it's almost. What, what kind of stuff did you have to buy today, Leo? Um, uh... Secret? Were they secret things? All sorts, really. Yeah. Is the food done? The food's done, thankfully. Oh. Yes. Have you done your... Have you done your shopping? I've done my shopping, yes. I did that all at the Sherbourne Prep Christmas Fair. All at the Sherbourne Christmas Fair, wow. So you, how many presents did you have to get there? Well, I got um, a box of fudge, some a Havard aftershave for my daddy who is listening, um, and Sh I got a couple of other things which I can't remember what, it, what, what they are because it's such a long time ago now. Plus, this, it's a secret, I suppose, Leo, and you shouldn't be telling me. I know. Hey, that's OK. So, look, uh, so very excited. It's Christmas Eve tomorrow. Uh, are you going to go visit somewhere or are people coming to you? Um, well, my father's away in Antigua, captain, captaining a luxury super yacht. Is so he? So we're going up to um, my cousins in Romsey, yes. celebrating with my cousins who are Ben, Sam, Daniela, Charlotte, Elizabeth and Pippa. Oh, my goodness me, that's going to be very busy and very hectic, Leo. So, uh, we're going to, it's, a, it's a shame that your dad's going to be uh, on yeah. his luxury yacht. Mm. Anyway, do you... But the good thing is, we're bringing home um, Mummy's sister's black lab called Lani on Boxing Day. Oh, that'd be very nice. Yeah. Do you get to go on the luxury yacht at any stage? Yes, I do. Good. I get to travel a lot. Good. OK. Fine, well, that sounds... Fine for most people. Leo, we're going to play you a tune. What is it that you would like us to play and why are we playing it? Tell us everything that we need to know. OK, first of all, um, I just want to say Merry Christmas and I hope you have a nice time to my daddy. Yes. Merry Christmas to yacht. Grandma Betty. Merry Christmas to Grandma and Grandpa, Catherine and Rose and all my, and all my friends and family listening. OK, the song, yes. and I've chosen this song, which is Don't Stop Believing by Glee, because it is only Christmas Eve tomorrow, yes. and if children who don't believe in Father Christmas right. and they don't believe won't get presents, they'll get a, a lump of coal instead. So this is to remind them to believe, otherwise they might get a lump of coal in their sack, in, in their sack instead of some presents for that, Christmas morning. That's all. That sounds almost like a threat. That does, doesn't it? <laughs> yes. <laughs> all right, Lee. Could you play? Yes. Um, don't Stop Believing by Glee, please. Don't Stop Believing, brackets, or you're going to get coal. Yes. Close brackets. Uh, OK, Leo, very nice to speak to you. Have a happy Christmas to you. You too. All right. And I just take this time to wish you and the team, the answering team, and everybody who, and everybody who is listening a Merry Christmas to one and all. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you, Leo. Goodbye. Thank you. I want a cravat for Christmas, I've just decided. I will. I don't want coal. As chosen by the one and only Leo Burnett. He's probably a prince, I don't think. Thank you, Leo. The cast of Glee. Don't stop believing. You have been warned. for the freight service is down to 60 minutes now and I'll be back with more in half an hour. I want a super luxury yacht. We can get you a mini one. I don't want a mini one. I want one as big as Leo's dad's. You see, the thing is, it's not buying it, is it? It's running it and the staff and the cleaning of brass, the stocking of the champagne fridge. Janet Bax on Twitter has just said, did we just hear our first, uh, our future British Prime Minister? <laughs> That could be his William Hague moment, couldn't it? Anyway, uh, Bobby, thank you very much. When are you back? I've, I nodded off then. Oh, for now. Back in the room. Excellent. Thank you very much indeed. OK, the, that's uh, Bobby Pryor. She'll be back and keeping us up to date throughout the programme. So it's 5.25. What is it you'd like to hear? It's 0500 288 291. Next up, we've got Steve Webb. Hello, Steve. Hi, Simon. How are you doing? I'm doing very well. Where are you, sir? 
I'm sat in Morrison's car park in Doncaster talking to you. Are you about to drive off to your luxury yacht in the Caribbean or somewhere? No, no, I'm just <laughs> finishing paddling my canoe down the A1. All right, very good. Have you, have you just shopped or are you about to shop?